Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain a binary divider. So first, uh, the, we're going to discuss about the manual concept of binary division. Okay. For example, so here I'm going to uh, give the uh, manual concept that is 9 divided by 3. That is A divided by B. Right. So here uh, we are dealing with what successive subtraction concept. So 9 divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 indicates. So here 9, 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is what? So 9 minus 3 is what? 6. Okay. That is, so one time is, uh, one time is uh, subtracted. That is C is equal to 1. Okay. Quotient, quotient. Just here count. Count as 1. Right. So again, the, this 3. So 3 is subtracted. And you will get what? Uh, 6 minus 3, 3. So count number 2. Right. And again, this 3 is subtracted. So you will get 0. So that is C is equal to C is equal to what? I mean 3. So, count number is equal to 3. So, I will just, uh, just assume. So, 9. The A as 9 and uh, B indicates what? 3. Right? So, 9, 3. So, A is equal to what? 9 and B is equal to 3. That is, A is what? Divided. We just use here. Divide and divide and divisor. Basically, so you are having in, I mean, uh, division, you are having different terms. So, divisor, divide and and quotient and reminder okay so here the dividend is what dividend is what a and uh, divisor is what b and you will get the output i mean uh, number of times subtraction so that is what quotient and uh, the final uh, output is what reminder okay this is c1 c2 c3 this c3 final value is what this is quotient and zero indicates what uh, reminder okay so here uh, i am uh, using the concept as what successive subtraction Okay, so that uh, uh, binary subtraction already I have uh, discussed in the previous video, right? Now I am going to uh, do the operation. For example, binary uh, operation. So here for 9 value, what is the 9 value over here? 1, 0, 0, 1. What is the binary representation for 3? So 1, 0, 0, 0 is divided by 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is the uh, binary representation of 9 divided by 3. Now I am go going to do the I mean uh, successive subtraction concept. So that concept I am going to use here. So what I told so here you have to use what subtrahend. You have to take the subtrahend uh, uh, term. What is the subtrahend term? So 0, 0, 1, 1. So uh, do, uh, perform the ones complement first. What is the ones complement? Two's complement. So subtraction can be done by using what two's complement uh, form. Already I have explained uh, that entire concept in the uh, previous videos, right? So here 1, 1, 0, 0. And 2's complement is what? So adding 1. Adding 1 to 1's complement output. So you will get 1, 1, 0, 1. Right? So first, first what I am going to do? So here, so you just take it as I am going to divide the iterations. So iteration 1. So iteration, iteration 1. So here 1, 0, 0, 1 is subtracted with what? 1, 1, 0, 1. That is added. 2's complement means you have to add. So 1 plus 1 is what? 1, 0 and 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is what? 1, 0 and carry is 1. Okay. So, here, um, here 9 is what? A and B, uh, B, B indicates what? 3. So, you have to resulting term. Resulting term you have to uh, see here. So, here A is, or A is uh, greater than B. A is greater than or equal to B. So, A is greater than A. Here, at this point, A is greater than B. So, I mean, subtraction is again possible because the value uh, is what 0 double one zero is what 6 right so here one time subtraction so c is equal to 1 count number is equal to 1 okay next next we have to do the same operation the i mean uh, two's complement of 0 1 1 is what 1 1 0 so again 1 1 0 1 we just make it and uh, we just add this one so 1 and 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 and carry is 1 okay so here so the count number 2 so second time is subtracted Okay, so check the updated value. Updated value is what? 0, 0, 1, 1. That is updated A. So uh, uh, updated uh, A is what? So here A is 0, 0, 1, 1. So A is greater than or equal. So this is equal. So equal to B. Because B value is what? 0, 0, 1, 1. So 1, if, if it is greater, that is also uh, possible. Subtraction is possible. If it is equal, that is also possible. Now, I am going to do the same operation here. So, uh, now uh, uh, A equal to B. So, again the subtraction is po possible. Just uh, add again 1101. Okay. So, 110, 110, 110 and 110 and 1 carry. So, what is the output here? 0, 0, 0, 0. So, count number 3. So, at this point, at this point, 
a is updated value a is less than b a is less than b so here afterwards so there is no uh, no, no possibility of what i mean uh, subtraction so what is the final count uh, that is quotient so count count is equal to what 3 so 3 indicates what quotient so quotient is equal to 3 what is what about remainder remainder is 0 okay remainder is what 0 okay so this is the uh, basic operation okay this is actually iteration one this is iteration one this is iteration iteration two uh, at this point iteration iteration three okay third iteration so first iteration so this is the output second iteration then third iteration okay so this is the actual manual concept uh, uh, behind your uh, we are going to use for binary divider okay by using this concept by using this concept okay i am going to design two by two division okay two by two divider okay so 2 by 2 divider, 2 bit uh, divider, so 2 bit divider, 2 by 2 divider, so 2 by 2 divider, so here I am going to use the same concept that is subtraction concept, so here FA, 2, by, 2 bit means you have to use what, 2 full adders okay so first uh, one uh, first one indicates so i am i am using 2 bit now so 2 bit means so for example here uh, b uh, a uh, b divided a divided by b so a divided by b so you can use okay that is a is 2 bit and uh, b is uh, 2 bit okay so the second term so here a divided by b na so this is what uh, second term right so you just uh, make it as uh, make it as here a not a naught and this one is what b naught okay so first i will uh, draw the circuit then i will explain okay so i will, I will design first based on that manual concept what uh, i have uh, explained now based on that manual concept i am going to explain i uh, have to uh, i am going to design then i will explain right so a naught b one first okay so c in must be here c in must be one because two's complement already have, uh, we have discussed right and the output the carry output here and the sum output is there right now here the second input there is a1 and again this one is what i mean complemented so b1 right so here also you are going to get and sum output and carry output okay so here we have to update okay first we are, we are going to do what first sub, first time subtraction is done so after some first time subtraction uh, if the i mean sum result some re result is greater than this uh, I mean uh, subtrahend okay subtrahend uh, that is b value so b value then again you have to perform the uh, subtraction value okay that is a concept so for that purpose I want here here is what I mean uh, here yes not here yes one right sum I am going to give the input to d flip top I am going to give the input to d flip top over here okay so this is the d flip top and d flip top and d indicates what q okay to I mean outputs and one clock signal is there and one clock signal is there so here the output is there now so this output i am going to feed into one and gate one and gate okay so one and, and, and gate and one clock signal i am going to give here zero clock okay so this uh, clock um, is given to i mean one counter i want to add one counter binary counter okay that binary counter we will discuss in the uh, next videos okay so forthcoming videos so binary counter and I'm going to connect here outputs. Okay, so if uh, the I mean uh, carry output is enabled, if carry output is enabled in the previous uh, manual calculation, we just check it. So if carry output is generated, that is given uh, uh, input to one AND gate and one clock pulse. If one clock pulse is given, the counter is enabled to one. Okay, and if clock is enabled, so whatever the input, whatever the input which is present in, whatever the input which is present in here, S1, that is updated sum that is appeared in q okay that that you just feed into that uh, output is that output is feeded into this output is feeded into a1 okay similarly this one so this is feeded into this is feeded into a naught okay so now we just uh, uh, do the operation okay now i'm going to explain the operation so first what you are going to do first you take the a input and b input you have to uh, uh, perform the uh, here we are dealing with what successive subtraction so you have to take the two's complement notation that two's complement notation can be done 
by using that is b not so here the complement is equal to this one's complement and here c in is equal to one so two's complement is over now i am adding this one okay so adding this one means the sum result will be enabled to what yes not and yes one okay updated sum okay updated sum is, uh, will be available at yes not and yes one right and if uh, the the output is what always it is going to uh, generate the carry if if that carry is given to one and gate and this sum it is going to check this sum okay if s not and s1 if s not and s1 is greater than that uh, um, uh, uh, sorry if a a is greater than this updated sum if always a is greater than this updated sum so again you have to do the operation so for that purpose so here carry is a, a, i mean automatically it is going to generate so on clock first clock is given if first clock means what counter is what counter is uh, used for counting the number of clock pulses counter is the user for counting the number of clock pulses so during this point if uh, this uh, mean output output uh, I mean, uh, um, carry is uh, enabled if carry is enabled and clock is enabled so this and gate is enabled if and gate is enabled means so counter in that uh, you are having one clock signal so if you give that one so count number one again it is going to feed okay so it is going to feed into a1 updated sum updated sum so again it performs the subtraction operation if carry is generated and clock is enabled so clock is always okay every clock pass so each clock pass one uh, uh, i mean um, uh, for functionality will be carried out in your digital okay so again it is going to give the counter okay similarly it is going to check until until the uh, reminder until the reminder this sum this sum is uh, i mean um, uh, for example if a is less than if a is less than b right if a is uh, 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 less than b so this uh, i mean operation will be uh, stop okay so this is the actual uh, i mean uh, design of your binary divider similarly you can uh, check for three bit binary divider and three bit binary divider in case what three full address uh, or setup uh, it is going to come four bit uh, four binary divider indicates four full address it is going to come okay so manually you just okay previously i have explained no manual manual concept so you just relate relate that manual concept into this uh, block diagram you will you can able to understand easily okay hope you enjoyed this video so uh, please subscribe like and share this video thank you